What's up guys? AdventureDex here from AdventureDexOnline.com. One of the most common things you'll find on the Jeep JK is this front bumper ding, what I like to call the crumple. Each Jeep has its own infamous ding and that can be found on the front bumper, the rear bumper, or the cowl. In this video, we're going to be tackling a DIY budget-friendly solution to this front bumper ding. Stay tuned. You're probably thinking, I know a simple solution, just rip off the bumper and throw an aftermarket one on. And that's a good option if you have three to $500 to spare. However, in this box, I have a $69 solution to this problem. As always, I'll link the product in the description, so if you want more information, you can go over there and check it out. And don't forget, before we jump into this installation, click that subscribe button to join Team AdventureDex for weekly Jeep videos. To complete this installation, all you're going to need is a power drill with a 1 4 bit, some tape, a measuring tape, safety goggles, a reciprocal saw with a blade that's going to be able to cut through plastic and a little bit of metal. So the first step in this installation is to get your measuring tape and your pen to get some measurements. What you want to do is you want to measure three and a half inches from the top of the bumper out. You're going to make a mark and then what you want to do is measure three and a half inches from the front of the bumper out and make a mark. The next step is to add the tape onto our cut lines so that we can make that precise cut. But to get the tape to stick onto the bumper, I found that using a degreaser or some alcohol just lightly in the area to get off all of that either dirt or grease that might be on this bumper preventing the tape to stick. That way we get a good straight line and we can make our cut. We're now going to use our tape on the inside of the line. To mark our cut line. It's not going to be exactly straight. And it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. You just want to get it as close as possible. Now that we got our tape on there, what I like to do is go over on the inside, on the outside of the tape and just draw the line all the way around. So if the tape moves, I know where the line is. And this is not going to show because this is all of the piece that we're cutting off. We got our tape in place. It's time to make the cut. I got my reciprocal saw, safety first. And we're going to make our cut. If I had a battery in the so. All right, so that's the cutting done. Let's test fit it and see what it looks like. Now we're gonna take our end piece, slide it on, and there you go. That's the stubby bumper setup. All we gotta do is drill the holes, put the tabs in, and the installation is complete.
And just like that guys, the insulation is complete. It went from this to this. The stubby feature is gonna add some more room for these tires and it's gonna make the bumper look a lot better. You're never gonna see the infamous crumple. This is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after. I hope you enjoyed that short, easy DIY installation video and if you did, leave me that thumbs up rating to let me know. If you have any questions about this product or installation, comment them below and I'll be sure to answer. Before you go jump on to another Adventure Dex video, don't forget to subscribe to join Team Adventure Dex. Until next time, I'm Adventure Dex. Don't forget, keep on jeeping.